got the Yamatech Drexelbrook the point series here and it's the two wire version I'm going to show you how to change the calibration mode our two wire power supply is up here across terminals one to three uh, seven through nine is your test point for the 420 milliamps you can put an ammeter or a, or a multimeter if you like uh, adjustment potentiometer here for manual calibration uh, three jumpers here there's one for your forward or reverse acting time delay, another for your high or low level fail safe, and the last one here is to alternate between the uh, milliamp state. So 16 milliamps is your normal current and 8 milliamps will be for your alarm and if you want to swap that around you can by the jumper there. The blue potentiometer here is for your time delay, you've got 0 to 90 seconds worth of adjustment. Two LEDs here, the green LED is your power supply and your red LED here indicates when you're in alarm. The push button here is for the auto calibration mode and also we'll use that in the uh, procedure to change the mode and the three pins here that will enable us to enter the mode selection. First step is to take your forward and reverse acting time delay jumper which is this middle one here out and put it across the first two pins like so and that'll enter us into the selection mode it'll flash at us the number of times to indicate which mode it is there are eight modes on the point ranging from standard sensitivity to high sensitivity auto calibration manual calibration and some fixed modes so to move it from standard sensitivity auto calibration mode two we're going to hold this button down and it's going to cycle through all the modes and as long as I keep my finger on it, we'll eventually get to mode 7, and that's when I'll release my finger. So it'll flash four times, five times for mode 5. So it's in mode 6 now and start flashing for mode 7 and I can actually take my finger off now and that'll lock it in mode 7 just count the number so we're in mode 7 just take that jumper off put it back where it came from and that's the process done. So now that we're in manual cow we can change the calibration mode so if we turn in the anti-clockwise direction that will desensitize our adjustment so there's the alarm if we were calibrating for something for a granular or something like lime we would just slowly turn it clockwise until the red LED goes out and that will give it another half to three quarter of a turn to complete the process uh, you can select the other mode in the same way, just cycle through and take your finger off once it's flashed the right amount of times. Thanks for watching.